to stand up and fight. Stand up and fight. Against the odds. Ugh, God. Now, I've done the video the other day saying that the Tories are looking to oust Rishi Sunak. Maybe his time's up. And I looked at a few maybe viable replacements. But the Times and GB News over the last couple of days have been reporting that Penny Morden might be the one to replace. I didn't think it would be her. She's blimmin' nuts. But one strutting coxcomb. To stand up and fight. The cause of hen and cock welfare. Stand up and fight. And a single proud cockerel. Against the odds. She's blimmin' nuts. She's loopy. Now, apologies, I've got to tone down my language because my last video got demonetized on YouTube because I called Jeremy Hunt a c This video may earn limited or no ad revenue due to content identified as not suitable for most advertisers. See, I disagree. I think that content was very suitable for my viewers and I think my viewers need to know and are not shocked and appalled by the fact that Jeremy Hunt is a c But he is a c It's not my fault that he's a c If he wasn't a c then I wouldn't call him a <laughs> It's not my fault, YouTube. But yeah, Penny Morden. I don't know what is going on with the Tories. So they had bonkers. They had completely loopy. And then they tried to go for something a bit more sensible. I mean, it didn't work out. Sunak's been awful. But their response is to go back to bonkers and loopy again. Generally, at this point, I will lose all respect for the British public if people do not take to the streets. If we have a third prime minister that has not been voted in, if we just stand by and let this happen, we are a country of wet lettuces. We really are. The French wouldn't do this. Three prime ministers that have not been voted in by the public and it gets even less democratic as it goes Liz, at least Liz Truss was voted in by the members of the Conservative Party all the public that are members of the Conservative Party anyone can become a member of the Conservative Party if they want to and then Sunak was voted in just by MPs what like 300 people decided that Sunak was Prime Minister and it'll be the same with Morden honestly if people don't take to the streets if this happens again I've lost all faith in this country because you know, I, I know you get that traditionalist people go well in this country we don't vote for a president we vote for a party to rule so it doesn't matter who's leading it the party decides so I'm like, oh bollocks bollocks okay prime ministers still have to make very important decisions that they don't put through bombing campaigns that we've had in syria and, and yemen previously haven't been voted on in in parliament decision of the prime minister we need to have a say who's in charge of this country and if they do change leader the tories we need to say okay fine but it's election time okay we need to vote this person in so what's Penny Morden all about? What's she stand for? What's her politics? I mean, if you look at her most recent Tory party conference speech, not a lot really. It's just one giant wank fest for Britain. And one of my first memories, standing on the hot walls in Portsmouth, and I was watching HMS Hermes take the Falklands task force out of the harbour. I knew, watching those men and those ships, that my country stood up to bullies. You see, it was the moment I realised courage is infectious. We are the party and country that stood up and fought Nazis and fascists. We are the party and country whose resolve enabled superpowers to end a cold war. So what are they actually trying to achieve here with Penny Morden? I mean, they've got two options, haven't they, to try and claw back some votes. They either go and try and steal those votes from reform, that 12%, and get closer to Labour by, I don't know, implementing policies of fishing nets for dinghies in the English Channel. Or they try and steal some votes from Labour. Now, I'm guessing this 24% of polling for the Conservatives. The 24% of the country that are still going to vote for the Tories, I guess, are just cultists, aren't they? They're Conservative Party cultists. Nothing that you could do would stop them from voting Tories. At this point, the country is so bad and the Tories have been so bad and every single aspect of this country is worse that if you're still intending on voting Conservative, you're a Conservative cultist. Nothing's going to change your mind. Rishi Sunak could go take a dump on the Queen's headstone and you'd still vote for the Tories. I, I'm guessing that that is what that 24% is. So they're not budging. So could you steal some from Labour? To me, that seems like the obvious plan to try and steal back 
some sort of essence of winning the next election. Because even if you take those reform votes, it's only going to bring you up to about 35 percent in the polling and it's still looking like Labour are going to beat you I think the only way that you could have a possible chance is to go closer to Labour more centrist but they're doing the opposite so who knows who which way they'll go with Penny Morden I mean Morden supported Liz Truss then supported Sunak you know they're all the same they just go wherever the politics is they don't actually have their own inbuilt set of values and policies that they want to see they just go where the votes is so Penny Morden could go either way um the only possible benefit that I could see with Penny Morden is, I guess she's got a little bit more charisma. I mean, she's nuts, <laughs> but she's definitely got more charisma than Sunak. So she might do better in a leadership debate and speeches. I mean, Rishi Sunak is an AI-generated politician. He is a robot. When he wants to talk to posh people, the AI generates this. Because we inherited a bunch of formulas from the Labour Party that shoved all the funding into deprived urban areas, uh, then they, you know, that needed to be undone. And when he wants to talk to working class people, the AI generates this. Digital tool for people to report it quickly and get it dealt, dealt with as well. All right? Good. All right. Uh... He is, in fact, stale and overall useless. He panders to each side of the Conservative Party and flip-flops between each one. One minute he wants to be sensible, Jeremy Hunt, budget. Next, he wants a Rwanda plan that is costing millions of pounds. So I guess Penny Morden might be able to inject a bit of charisma, a bit of excitement about the leader. But overall, they have to move their policies more to the centre. That's the only way they're going to gain votes, in my opinion. What do you think about Penny Morden? What's their plan? Are they going to move more to the centre, more to the right? Do they just think that she's a more charismatic leader? Give me your thoughts down below. If you like the video, click a like. If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe up top. There'll be another video. You can check that out as well. Till next time, take care.